So while I was in Japan, I learned about this holiday that I'm pretty sure you've heard of and it's called White Day. And pretty much what White Day is, is like the opposite of Valentine's Day. So in Japan, on Valentine's Day, girls give guys gifts or like chocolates, They're mainly chocolates. Now, you know, here in America, it's the opposite. You know, it's the guys giving the girls the gifts. But no, in Japan, in Valentine's Day, girls give like their friends or people they like chocolates. And if they like somebody, if they have a crush on a guy, they'll give like that guy like the big chocolate, you know, the big papa chocolate. Like, you know, you've probably seen it like an anime where like there's like this popular guy, this senpai and all these girls are like giving him all these chocolates and all these gifts. You know, that's Valentine's Day over there. Now, White Day is after Valentine's Day and it's on March 14th. And on that day, the guys return the gifts to the girls that they received the gifts from. So if a guy received a bunch of chocolate from girls, you'll most likely, you know, give chocolates back to those girls. It's kind of like a nice little thing because if a girl gives, you know, a bunch of girls give a big chocolate to the guy, the guy will be like, all right, you know, I received five big chocolates, which means these five girls like me. So on white day, I'm gonna give my favorite girl this big chocolate and she's gonna understand that I like her back and let's say no, they're dating, whatever, that's white day. So while I was in Japan, Valentine's Day and white day came up and we were talking about it and you know I was kind of learning about it so I learned about it in Japanese language class and after Japanese language class I went to another class that I took together with Japanese students and there was like me and, like these two other foreigners two or three other foreigners and you know we were there learning Japanese but the class was taught in English and Japanese you know the teacher was really good at teaching in Japanese and English you know it was like mixed so the point of that class was for us to learn about Japanese culture and you know Japanese society you know stuff like that so anyway at the end of the class after the lecture our teacher she was better up into groups and she would have the foreigners lead the groups so for example you know there'll be four of us in that class so she would split us into four groups and each foreigner would lead the group and lead the discussion and we would pretty much discuss about the topic of the class that day now the thing about this leading the discussion thing is like we have to do all the talking to the Japanese students encourage them to talk and you know it doesn't sound that bad but the thing is the discussions were like 30 minutes long 20 to 30 minutes and it's kind of hard to have a bunch of people talk for 20 to 30 minutes about the topic at hand you know because the topics were usually not that exciting so we got split into groups and i was leading the discussion and the topic for the class that day was japanese gardening and the questions had to do with what do you think about japanese gardening what do you think about japanese gardens and how do you compare it to gardens and gardening in your country all right, dude, how am I supposed to talk about that for 30 minutes? And what kind of questions am I supposed to ask about that? Um, yeah, I find Japanese gardening pretty interesting. I mean, it's cool. It's different from America. Um, America doesn't really have like traditions when, when it comes to like gardening. There isn't like any big meaning, you know, we just do it for fun. I don't know what to say to that, dude. Like after like three minutes, I'm like, all right, I, got, I don't know what else to say. Do you guys have any questions? And they're like, no, we don't have any questions. I'm like, all right, that's cool. And after that, I'm like, dude, well, that, that discussion was over like real quick. And I don't even know how to follow up with that. But I like to talk and I like to ask questions. So I'm like, you know, you know what um we already discussed gardening technically so I'll, i kind of want to move the conversation over to like white day and valentine's day because it was coming up during that time and you know one thing that i guess relates to gardening is flowers right flowers so i started asking the group i was with the group i was with was um all guys and you know it was like it was like 10 guys like they were all guys like it seems like all the girls stuck together and the guys stuck together so I was, I was here like in the middle with like 10 guys right so anyway i started asking them like all right so what are you guys doing for valentine's white day you know and they said they didn't really say anything they're like oh yeah I'll probably get some chocolates for my friends give it to my friends all right cool do you guys have like any special ladies in your life you know do you guys have any girlfriends or anything and they all said like no we don't have girlfriends i'm like all right cool so you're just gonna give chocolates to your friend so then i asked them have you guys ever given like a girl flowers because i asked them like one-on-one -on -one, have you ever given a girl flowers no how about you have you ever given like a girl you like flowers no how about you no they all said no like we have never given a girl flowers never done it before all right these are all college students by the way you know these guys are on college and they say they've never given a girl flowers except Except one guy. One guy said yes. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, who did you give flowers to? You know, who was it? Was it a girlfriend or a girl you like? He's like, nah, it was my mom. I gave my mom flowers one time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's not really what I meant, dude. But, but yeah, I mean, yeah, giving your mom flowers, I guess that counts. But besides your mom, did you give any girls flowers? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, who? My grandma. I'm like, all right, dude. Besides family members, have you ever given a girl flower? And he's like, uh, besides family members? No, I've never given a girl flowers. I'm like, all right. So none of you guys have given girls flowers. All right, cool. I'm like, well, I know that we all probably have like a girl you like. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all have a crush on someone. Um, I'm not going to ask who it is. But right now, I want to tell you guys, like, the person you have a crush on, like, if you guys 
guys get along, you're having a good conversation, she likes you, you like her, um, and you wanna ask her to be your girlfriend or something, would you give her flowers for Valentine's Day or, or White Day? Dude, they all looked at me like, they're like, whoa, 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 are you mad? Are you mad, Kiko? Like, what, what do you mean give a girl flowers? Like, are you crazy? No, like, no, no, I mean, like, would you give a girl you like, like a girl you have a crush on, and you guys obviously like each other. And they're like, no, man, you crazy, man, get out of here. Like, where are you coming from? Where are you from, man? Like, get out of here. I'm like, um, okay, like, really? Like, you guys, really? And they're like, have you ever given a girl flowers? I'm like, yeah, man, I've given girls flowers. Like we had my girlfriends, my ex-girlfriends, girls I like. And they're like, dude, you mad? Like, what? Wait, what? Psh. These guys are mind blown, all right? I'm like, all right, I get it. You guys are gonna give chocolates, but not flowers. And they're like, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know what you mean by flowers. Um, That kind of caught my interest. I'm like, all right, these are 10 guys, 10 college guys. They all gave me the same answer. Never given a girl flowers, except one guy who gave it to his mom and grandma. All right, cool. Maybe they are shy. Uh, maybe they just don't really have much luck with girls. I don't know, but whatever, let's move on, all right? Next day, same class, have the same discussion. We get split up into groups. But this time, all the Japanese girls who stick together, like I told you, the guys stick together and the girls stick together. Well, this time all the Japanese girls like come to my group, you know, so I'm the group leader and I'll have like 10 Japanese girls talking with me. Um, we discussed the topic for like 10 minutes and I decided to ask them, you know, like um, the same thing, like uh, what are you guys planning for Valentine's? Is there a special guy you're gonna get blah, 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 you know? Simple conversation, trying to keep it interesting, trying to get everyone involved. So then I asked them, these college girls, 10 of them, you know, they're all pretty, they're all cute, they're all beautiful. Like pretty sure they've all had boyfriends, you know, but I'm not asking them directly because that's too personal, you know, do you have a boyfriend? Too personal. So I did ask him i'm like so have any of you like uh during high school or even now like in college have you ever received like flowers from a guy you like or your boyfriend and they all looked at each other and they're like no and i'm like really none of you guys have gotten any flowers from a uh, like your boyfriend or a guy you like and they're like no that's uh that's that's kind of unheard of and i'm like well what, what would you do like if your boyfriend did get you flowers and they all got like oh my gosh like what like if that happened like I, like i would die inside i'm like dang okay okay so so same thing like the first group that i talked to of guys they said they never gave it to girls and then the second group of girls that I talked to, they said they never received flowers. Interesting, very interesting, but I'm not gonna push any more questions because I don't wanna get too personal, but I found that interesting. All right, so you guys know that in America, it is very normal to get flowers. In high school, I'm pretty sure you've seen it all the time. A boyfriend gave me like a bouquet of flowers to like his girlfriend in front of the whole class or, you know, guys asking girls out on a date in high school with a bunch of flowers. Your coworkers receiving a bunch of flowers at work, even in college, man like there will be like organizations on my campus that say if you donate to the organization they'll give a flower to a girl of your choosing very normal to give flowers to girls in america but in japan well from the people that i talked to the specific group at my university these college students girls and guys they didn't seem like flowers was normal i don't know i can't confirm that it's a normal thing in japan so if you guys know any more information about that let me know because you know i'm kind of curious about it like why they don't get flowers or or why guys don't want to give flowers to girls like why it isn't a thing i guess you know chocolate giving chocolate on valentine's and white day is normal but flowers doesn't seem to be that normal so anyway um one day there was like these three girls in my class and they invited me to hang out go drink some beers you know so we went to an izakaya we started drinking having a good time having a good conversation you know they started asking me like if i have a girlfriend you know how many ex-girlfriends have i had you know you know stuff like that i answer them you know because they're asking me then i ask them how many boyfriends have they had they got a little bit shy um they didn't really want to tell me but i get it like you know they don't want to tell me how many like they asked me how how many girls girlfriends I've had I answered they didn't really want to tell me all right cool whatever so these three girls they weren't in my um, my class like in the class where I was in discussion they were in a different class they were in a different class from that so so anyway I, I brought up the same topic I brought up with the other girls in my discussion class I asked them have you guys ever received flowers from a guy or like your boyfriend or a guy like they all said no uh, again blew my mind these are college girls all right uh, uh, that's crazy but maybe not so crazy because it seems like everybody has been answering me no I have never received flowers or no i've never given flowers so they asked me have you ever given they asked me like have you given a girl flowers and i'm like yeah they were kind of curious like when did you give a girl flower like why, why did you give them a flower and i'm like well i told them like in america it's normal to give a girl a flower like if it's the right occasion you will give a girl a flower valentine's day the husband the boyfriend or the person you have a crush on will receive flowers right for example for me if i like a girl and you know we're good vibes we're getting along she likes me uh, and i know that she likes me and 
and I want her to be my girlfriend, the way I would do it personally is a basic technique that many guys do. It's the most basic technique. One of the most basic techniques, nothing special about it, but what I would do is I will sit her down, um, I will buy her one rose, just one rose, and I will give it to her, and when I give it to her, I'll ask her like, hey, um, do you wanna be my girlfriend? And then I'll give her the rose, all right? Basic technique, a little bit romantic, a little bit cheesy, but it's basic. You know, some guys go the extra mile and give like a bouquet of flowers. Some guys, you know, like put like a sign up on Wendy's saying, do you wanna be my girlfriend? Some guys like sing a song, you know, on the guitar. Some guys go that extra mile just to ask a girl to be their girlfriend. So giving a flower to a girl and asking her to be a girlfriend, really basic technique in my opinion. So anyway, I told these girls, these Japanese girls, my three home girls, I told them like, yeah, pretty much I will sit her down, give her like one rose and be like, you wanna be my girlfriend, you know, basic technique. So when I said that, they all looked at each other and they just like, their head exploded. Dude, like, you go, what? You know, it, like, you would do that? I'm like, yeah. And they were just like, just uh, like, I blew their mind. Like I melted their heart. They were just mind blown. And after like a couple seconds, they just finally calmed down. They're like, dude, you're really romantic, aren't you? And I'm like, um, that's a little bit romantic. I wouldn't say it's really romantic, but yeah, I guess it's a little bit romantic. And they're like, dude, we didn't know you were so romantic. And I'm like, I, I don't think that's romantic. I mean, I think that's just the, um, again, like in America, that's a basic technique. I don't think that's romantic, but it just kind of seems like, I guess, if you give a flower to a girl in Japan, that would be really impressive to come from a guy since it is not. From the people I've talked to, it doesn't seem to be normal to give flowers to girls. And when you do give it to them, I assume they will, it will blow their mind, make their day completely, all right? So I guess all I want to say on camera today is those are the discussions I had with my fellow college classmates in class and outside of class. And you know, I just, I guess, I find it kind of mind blowing that, you know, flowers aren't really a thing, giving a girl flowers when in like in America or even like in Mexico, it's so normal. Even for like little things, when you have a crush on someone, you know, it's normal. I don't know enough about the subject. Maybe it is normal in other parts of Japan, or maybe it is normal with older couples in Japan who are like uh, married and stuff. Maybe it, it is not normal for like college students or high school students, you know. In America, again, it is very normal in high school or college to give girl flowers, but in Japan, it doesn't really seem like it, but I can't confirm it. All I can say is I talked with many of my fellow college classmates and that's what they told me. And you know, just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanna know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this information. And if you want me to talk about more things about like the discussions I had with my friends in Japan and I guess things that I found kind of interesting, you know, let me know, drop a comment and I'll make more videos like this, all right? Subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.